Hello, my name is Tasman Crow and I'm the director of the Earth Institute, University College Dublin. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the first Earth Day and I'm going to talk about sustainability and interdisciplinarity. The concept of sustainability has now been enshrined in the UN Sustainable Development Goals. They're far-reaching and comprehensive and require us to think collectively and coherently about challenges ranging from poverty to water resources, inequality to education. They confront us with the wicked problems of our time, the climate emergency and the biodiversity crisis, and indeed the pandemic we're currently facing and those that are to come. Sustainability is built on three pillars economy, society and environment. All are interlinked. Sustainability challenges are multifaceted and their solutions always have a human dimension as well as an economic, and technological or scientific one. The rollout of alternative renewable energy, for example, requires innovative technological development, but also investment and buy-in from industry and a shift in government policy driven by societal demands and driving changes in behaviour. As such, by their nature, these kinds of challenges need an interdisciplinary approach. Researchers in different disciplines in science, engineering, economics, social sciences and the humanities have dedicated most of their professional lives to developing their specialised knowledge and skills. Necessarily, they've not had so much time to understand other fields. As such, it's crucial that researchers from each broad set of disciplines interact with each other and draw on each other's expertise. If their work is actually going to make a difference and be taken up by policymakers, enterprise and society at large, there must also be genuine engagement with the practitioners in these circles throughout the research process. Long gone are the days of remote academic endeavour by individuals in ivory towers. Universities are now more and more intricately linked with the wider communities of which they're a part. I'm passionate about this modus operandi. I find it fascinating and inspiring to work with people from different disciplines and walks of life address sustainability challenges. You never know when new ideas will be sparked and conversations between people who bring completely different perspectives to the table. As such, I enjoy my role in the UCD Earth Institute, which exists specifically to foster interdisciplinary research and its application to sustainability challenges. In my own research as a marine ecologist, I'm lucky to work with great collaborators from a wide range of disciplines. I've worked for a number of years with John Brannigan, for example, who's a literary scholar with a shared enthusiasm for the marine environment. We recently completed a project that explored the cultural dimensions of our coastlines and the potential cultural impacts of changes to the marine ecosystem. John was able to trace the historical interplay between literary and artistic representations of the marine environment and people's attitudes towards it. And our team engaged extensively with local communities and key stakeholders to better understand current perspectives. Our findings will help to bring cultural perspectives into the environmental decision-making process, which may in some ways be more influential than the naked scientific data around changes in levels of pollution, temperature, or key species, because it captures emotional as well as analytical responses. I think the evolution of such interdisciplinary approaches has been one of the major developments in the 50 years since Earth Day first started. Still, there are barriers and challenges. It can be hard to find common language. It needs trust and openness. It takes a bit of extra time and effort in already busy lives. As such, I think we need actively to promote interdisciplinary approaches. Most universities do now have institutes that help build bridges between discipline-based departments, and many organizations and enterprises are recognizing the value of interdisciplinarity. Sustainability is an endeavor in its own right. Professional bodies are emerging, and there's a growing demand for interdisciplinary thinkers committed to addressing sustainability challenges. So the other great need is for more and more people with the necessary skills and inclinations. That's where the education side of university life has a part to play. And I've been working with colleagues from across the campus at UCD to put together a new undergraduate program in sustainability to help meet that need. It puts interdisciplinarity at its core and is built around the three pillars of sustainability with dimensions in economics and business, social sciences, policy and law, and environmental science and engineering, with all students gaining some experience in all three, as well as a specialisation in one. So, in summary, I think sustainability challenges need joined up thinking and joined up thinkers. We all need to work together across traditional boundaries between disciplines and organisations and sectors to grapple with them. The response to the current global pandemic has included some incredibly rapid concerted action 
societal change and international cooperation with a strong and prominent role for research and innovation in all spheres and for evidence-based advice. This does give hope for a more adaptable response in the future to the longer standing and less tangible but also critically important challenges we face. Thanks for watching. This video is part of a series of expert reflections curated by Future Earth Island as part of Future Earth Week. To watch other videos or find out more, check out Future Earth Island on Twitter or go to the Future Earth Island website.